Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, welcoming you to the beginning of the MLP Season 4. I am the coach of your New York Metagross, and today, Week 1 is upon us, and we face off against Mace Master, coach of the Beijing Drapions. <laughs> if you do not know what we are bringing, if you do not know his team, my team, whatever, there is a link to the team builder in the description below. Make sure you go check that out. So you know what's going on. Now, as you can see on your screen, he brings his Tapu Bulu, his Vega Volt, his Slow King, his Kecleon, his Mega Aerodactyl, and his Needle Queen. Um, I said in my team order, I'm like, Magnazone is definitely coming, and that Aroma Cheese is definitely coming. And he didn't bring either of them. Um, he doesn't bring his Rampardos either. He doesn't bring his Galissapod or his Pile of Sand either. Which is pretty interesting. Um, kind of wasted a move slot on you. Just all kinds of stuff. Um, hopefully I can remember everything in this battle because I am doing this post-com. Um, we did this battle about a week ago and I could not be in here. I could not be recording during the battle. I was kind of having a lice treatment. It was bad, bad, bad uh, set of circumstances. So, I'll spare you the details. So I was looking at his team, and I was afraid of a lot of things, but I believe I let off with my Mega Absol, just because he didn't have good switches to it, and I was like, as long as he doesn't lead the Vega Bowl, I should be okay. So we are going to put this on slow, and we are going to click play. I do lead my Absol, and unfortunately he, good lord, does lead the Vega Bowl. I have to immediately switch out into my Pile Swine, and he is immediately going to get a near max roll and looks like he's going to 2ko me which is bad um i shouldn't have put that speed investment in there i should have just gone max hp so i can take this hit better but this causes problems because now i have to go out to my infernate i know this is modest specs just by the damage i do have to go to my infernate and take damage and this becomes important later um that damage is beautiful uh i go for the fire move no i go for the grass not predicting his slow king a lot of plans were made so I'm going to switch out here into my Rainy Eclipse as he does go for the Trick Room. We did predict that immaculately. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here, I believe, and do a lot of damage. It honestly just does nothing. But I know I can eat one hit from this thing, even if it's modest specs, and fire off another Shadow Ball and potentially to a KO it because of that Spadef drop. So I guess a little back and forth hacks. He does see that I am in speed. I am going to go for the side shot here because I know it will kill the Vicar Volt and it will hit anything that comes in. He's going to go to his Kecleon and I believe he puts up his rocks here. He's going to go for knockoff now. So he's going to knock off my leftovers. And here I am going to go for the Thunder Punch predicting the Slow King, I believe. Or did I go for that or did I go for EQ? I did go for EQ predicting the Needle King, I'm sorry. So we're going to switch out into our Haunter because I do expect him to go for Sludge Wave and I can take that beautifully and i can just fire off a shadow ball i know he was going to the kecleon but i couldn't just I, I just couldn't i couldn't be a man and click sludge wave i was upset so i have to go here into my mill tank once again and i am going to, he's gonna go for the trick room and this time i'm going to go for the thunder punch predicting him in, to go into the slow king right right as he goes into that um I am just going to go right out into my Pile of Swine, as he is going to go for the Volt Switch, so making the plays. He's going to go to his Top of Bulu, as I believe I go for my Stealth Rocks here. Stealth Rocks are going to be very good. That kills the Vicar Volt, I think. Right, did I record as killing? Let me change my notes real quick, because I said Pile of Swine kills Vicar Volt with Shadow Ball. So he's going to go into this. We're going to play a little back and forth. He's not going to do anything to me because I am super physically defensive. Um, and now here I'm just going to recover up. I wanted to put, click um, Thunder Punch, but I couldn't. So he's going to go into this, and I'm going to go out into my, I believe, Pillow Swine and sack it off. No, my Renuclus. I think he goes for Trick Room. So this is going to be a speed tie, but I can't hit any hit or take any hit from this Mon. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball, as he is just going to sack off his Vicar Volt. And that kill does go to uh, Miltank. Right? Yeah. Or Pillow Swine, I mean. 
I'm gonna go for the side shock here because it does kill the Nita Queen. I don't know why he went after that. He goes, oh, shit, that's right, you're slow. That's right. I was running my min speed so I could counter trick room because his team just screamed trick room. Gonna go into my Gallagher here on his Technion's knockoff because I kind of walled this thing. He is going to go out into his slow king and I am going to go for the fire punch, I believe. Yeah. Predicting top of Bulu. Um, so Tristan Dimensions return to normal. I'm gonna go out into my Arena Clicks because I am super healthy now. He's gonna go for Scald and get the burn. Which sucks. Because I'm not Magic Guard, I'm Regenerator. I'm gonna go for Psy Shock, predicting him to go into his Kecleon, but nope, he has Signal Beam. Here, I believe I sack off my. Okay, I sack off this. Or I thought I could take another hit if I were for Shadow Ball. So I sack my Arena Clips. I haven't seen this battle in a long time. And I go out to my Mega Absol. And I click the Knock Knock. Knock Knock. Who's there? It's me. Goodbye, Kecleon. You are not living this knockoff. This is a max attack at, or max attack knockoff from a Mega Absol. Goodbye. He's gonna go into his Aerodactyl here. And in all honesty, I should have clicked Sucker Punch. I probably would have saved myself some trouble. I go out to Mill Tank on the Stone Edge, I believe. And I take that beautifully. I'm gonna go for the Milk Drink as he is going to go for the Home Claws. So this is an issue. So now my goal is start weakening him. Because he can do 57 damage to me now. Go for the Thunder Punch. And he reveals the Roost. Which is a problem. And this creates another problem that I should have looked into. I should have been Earthquaking him. I shouldn't have been Thunder Punch. I should have been Earthquaking and dealing a lot of damage. That way I could pick it off with something else. So I'm going to go into my Tusk here. <coughs> And I'm going to fire off Night Shard, I believe, as he goes into a Slow King. Right. I'm going to Earthquake to get off damage, and then Sack... Come on. I think I just... Mm, do I go back and forth? No, I go into Haunter, because I don't need Haunter anymore. He goes to the Trick Room, and this Haunter is gone. Did I live this gold? That's right. I haven't seen this battle, like I said. I'm sorry. Um, I Shadow Ball that. Kill that. Fantastic. I should have gone out to Pilot Swine here. Did I go to Pilot Swine? I go out to Mega Absol. Um, I believe I clicked Protect here. Yeah. So I was thinking about stalling out the Trick Room. What I should have done was go out to Pilot Swine because I forgot about Trick Room and I should have just fired up Ice Will Crash. Um, I also should have stacked up Pilot Swine. Um, I think I should have stacked up Pilot Swine there. But uh, there's nothing I can do at this point. He's actually slower than me. So it didn't matter what I went out to. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Nasty Plot here, because if he's bulky, then I live this, and I can actually potentially win. It wasn't over. I had a chance to win. This is where the damage came in to play, too. If he's not attack investing, he's actually defensive to handle Mega Absol. I can live the superpower, Nasty Plot up, kill this, and then kill the, uh, potentially kill the Abs uh, Aerodactyl on the next turn. If I was at full health, I would live a superpower no matter what. And I would have been able to kill this and kill the uh, Aerodactyl afterwards. I mean, I got his Fidep drop on his uh, Slow King, so I, or his Vicar Volt, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But you are going to see that he does, in fact, take us out, and we are going to start the season 0 and 1 with a minus 2 differential. He played very well. Uh, Mace Master proved, uh, proved why he has um, uh, gotten the merits that he has in stuff like RU and stuff. Stuff and stuff. Um, uh, I could have played better. I should have been trying, should have been Earthquaking that Aerodactyl to get off more damage. If I had gotten it weak enough, I wouldn't have had a Nasty Plot. I could have just Fireblasted this and vacuum waved it, and it would have been over. But, um, yeah. Hopefully we may play off and I can get my revenge, but we start 0-1-1. Uh, not too big of a deal. We do have many weeks to make that up. Hopefully we will, um... Hopefully things will change, and we will come out on top next time. Next week, we do face off against the Georgia Grambles and Coach Archeops, so until then, I will see you next time.